tell them one thing. Just win, baby. is happening Raider Nation it's your boy Samuel Raider with another video and I know this week is a bye week and the Raiders don't really have a game this week so I'm not gonna be coming out with the pre-game preview I just want to let you guys know that but I'm still gonna give you guys some nation news that's why you guys are watching this video anyways with that said I'm still gonna be coming out with some Raider content throughout the whole weekend bye week does not mean that I'm gonna take a break because I've been taking a break for the past two weeks and I deserve to give you guys as much content as you guys want to see and I love doing it and I appreciate every single one of you guys in also, I wanted to shout out the Raider Nation out there because this channel has literally been growing in the past two weeks. And I do want to thank you guys personally because I wouldn't be doing this if it wasn't for you guys and for the Raiders, obviously. But with that said, let's get started with this video. Another starting wide receiver bites the dust. Heading into the bye week, the Raiders release wide receiver JJ Nelson, who might come as a surprise to some in the Raider Nation. This is the third wide receiver released by the Raiders, following Antonio Brown and Ryan Grant. The problem with Nelson was not his play on the field, but his availability to stay on the field. Nelson has been dealing with an ankle injury all throughout the offseason heading into the regular season. And like Justin Ellis, Gruden does not have any patience for players to take up a roster spot if they aren't able to play on the field. Nelson only started one game for the Raiders in week three, catching four passes for 36 yards and a touchdown. The following week, Nelson was back on the shelf after feeling some tightness in his leg prior to the indie game, also missing the game overseas in London versus the Bears. The Raiders seem to have found the replacement at wide receiver with Speed and Trevor Davis and trading for wide receiver Zay Jones for a fifth round pick. The Raiders did wave Marcel Amon after the Jones trade just to bring him back on the team just two days later. The wide receiver core moving forward will be a Tyrell Williams, Zay Jones, Hunter Renfro, Trevor Davis, Keelan Dawes, Marcel Aitman and Dwayne Harris. Who knows if there will be another wide receiver added before the trade deadline. Names that have been hovering around the Raider Nation have been the likes of AJ Green and Stefan Diggs. But the Raiders might not have to pull the trigger this season as the following 2020 NFL draft class will have plenty of talented wide receivers answering the NFL. In other news, the NFL has announced that the week 8 matchup with the Raiders and Texans will be flexed from 10 a.m. to 125 p.m. Pacific Standard Time on CBS. It is taking the place of the Denver Broncos versus Indianapolis Colts game, which will now be played earlier on Sunday, October 27th. It is obvious that the NFL is starting to take the Raiders serious this year and believes the Raiders-Texans matchup could be a good one. It also works in Oakland's favor, not having to play an early game away. Following this game, the Raiders will finally be heading back home to Oakland after a long stretch on the road. I love this, man. Don't get much better than this, man. In the Coliseum? Let's go, baby. With that being said, Raider Nation, that is all I have for you guys today for your nation news. If there's any other news that I'm missing or that you guys want to talk about, or if you guys have any comments on the news that I brought to you guys today, let me know down in the comments below. And if you guys enjoyed this video, then please smash that like button. If this is the first time you're watching this channel and you enjoy the content and want to see more, then please hit that subscribe button and hit that notification icon button when I upload more videos just like this one. That being said, this is your boy, Samuel Raider. Until the next video, your boy is, yeah.